in this short video series, you'll notice several things during size up, such as this college dormitory where we have a fire in one of the dormitories and we do not have one in the other. Check out the difference in the heat signatures. We check out the adjacent dorm. We don't see any heat signatures. We go to the dorm that's on fire. We've got heat signature around the door and windows. This is noted quite quickly through the thermal imaging camera. This is something we pay attention to during size up. In this size up video shows we're walking up on a 1940s hip roof house. We see convection currents and heat escaping from the front porch. The front door is open, the heat is exhausting out and building underneath the front porch. As we walk towards the structure, you can see clearly how much heat is building up underneath the front porch with the front door open and we have a line inside with the nozzle closed. This is a problem and this is gonna end badly if we don't find the fire. This is why the camera is used to help enhance size up and fire attack. In this size up video, we can see a single pane window well indicating a basement with high heat signatures behind it. The incident commander was able to locate the fire, assist firefighters with line placement and even use an outside vent person to make sure that they were able to ventilate it while they were attacking the basement fire. This is an example of what we call a tactical 360, which is using the camera to enhance strategies and tactics. In this strip mall fire that went to three alarms, we can see signs of uh, structural failure in the brick here. And the old brick has got some stair step cracks in it and heat escaping from the Alpha Delta division. As we make it around to the Charlie side, when we're using the search and rescue mode in this camera, we can see heat signatures starting at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. We can see the gap between the actual ceiling and the two roofs that are on this structure. It has a four foot gap between the the first roof and the rain roof. This was used to help the firefighters locate the amount of fire and the hidden heat signatures to fully extinguish the fire. In this size up video, the incident commander is walking up. It's got a two story wood frame. It's got fire off the front porch, high heat signatures. The camera's in low sensitivity mode. You got anywhere between yellows and reds, anywhere from 300 to 1,000 degrees on the outside. We've got a lot of thermal bridging working from the alpha towards the Charlie side. As he makes the Charlie side, you can see heat signatures on some of the windows. Some of this is single pane glass. You got bars on those doors. Comes back around on this side of the structure. You can actually see thermal bridging where the heat's transferring from the alpha to Charlie in between the floors, showing you how much heat is pushing from the front to back. This is an example of how we use this to enhance our strategies and tactics for line placement. And this one, he's walking up, he's got a wind-driven event, two-story wood frame, heavy fire, got dark black turbulent smoke on the Alpha second floor division. As he walks up, I want you to pay attention to how fast the fire is moving, the smoke's moving, and notice that we saw black smoke coming out the Alpha division, division two windows. And when we look back up, I want you to look at these windows again in this 10 second difference, you got fire blowing out of those second floor windows. Also, when you check out the thermal view, you're gonna notice how much heat's hitting the exposure house, which is over 100 feet away, and you're gonna be able to see, due to image enhancement on this camera, you're gonna see bars on the windows through the flames, which you can't see visibly with the camera. Many people would scoff at the idea of using a camera on this one, but this shows you a lot more than you think. So check out the thermal view through the FLIR K65 here as we switch from optical to thermal. See the heat signatures on the exposure house, watch as the camera switches to low sensitivity, you can actually see the bars on the windows. You got thousand plus degrees apparent temperatures. Fire is blowing out that side. If you look on the alpha division, you had thousand plus degrees blowing on the second floor, which was black smoke visibly. When we look back with the actual visual camera, we see fire blowing out 10 seconds later. That's how fast conditions can change. You wanna pay attention to these thermal cues and clues and use them to enhance your strategies and tactics and not be surprised. Always be thinking, one to two steps ahead of the fire. That's what a good incident commander does and listens to their crews inside. Notice the difference in these pictures. This is the first shot and 10 seconds later, you'll notice a massive difference in that second floor windows on the alpha side. In this next video, we're looking at a bank that's on fire. We've got heavy heat in the attic. Using search and rescue mode, when we look at the delta side of the gable, we can actually see heat signatures. We switch back to standard NFBA TI basic. We don't see the heat signatures as well because it doesn't highlight it until 300 degrees Fahrenheit. 
When you search in rescue mode, however, it highlights signatures at 200 degrees. Helping the incident commander identify how much heat is in the attic, we can see convection currents coming out the vent hole, gives us an idea of where the fire is going and what conditions are going to look like if we don't get lines in place fast enough. All of these cues and clues can be used to help you on the fire ground, inside and out. Pay attention to these cues and clues, carry the camera, stay intelligently aggressive. Thanks for your support.